All right, this one's our most challenging. We've got a lot of words missing from our definition of homophones. So let's see if you can remember it. When blank or blank words sound the blank, but have a different blank and or blank. So let's go line by line. When blank or blank words, what type of words or how many words? When two or more words sound the same, but have a different meaning and or spelling. So a homophone is any two or more words that sound the same, but mean something different. So today we are talking about our and our. Let's get rid of this box. So our, O-U-R, can sometimes be pronounced as R. I have kind of trained myself to say that ow sound that O-U makes, our, because it makes it much easier to tell the difference. But not everybody talks like that. So our means us, we, or the group. We're talking about our collective something. So for an example, this is our classroom. Now, some people might write, read it as this is our classroom. And that's why this one's tricky because it sounds just like our. Our other example, did you see our picture? Did you see our picture? So we're talking about the group. It's not just one person. It's us, including myself. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about us, our. So in my Bitmoji, it says our voices have power, meaning when we speak out together, that's when we really utilize the power of our voice. The other form of R is the A-R-E. And this one is plural for is. It's the exact same meaning as is, which is a verb. It's a form of being, but it's plural. Usually we use this when we're talking about multiple people. This is also present tense, so it's not for something that happened earlier or yesterday or last year, and it's not for something that's going to happen in the future. We're talking about right now. So for example, are we going to school this month? So that's talking about this present tense. That's a, something that I'm wanting to know right now. In our example, our second example, they are acting so silly. So right now, they, remember the group of people, they are, A-R-E, acting so silly. So we've got our, some people pronounce it are, and are as a plural form of is. So in my bit mode, saying, are you for real? So these two are very important and they get mixed up quite a bit. So again, I train myself to make that O-U owl sound, our, our and are. So now you can go onto the Google form, read the sentence, and choose which one it should be. Coaching.